This is John Malvey from my Bookkeeper software. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the new QuickBooks integrator module from Bookkeeper that allows you to import your data directly into Bookkeeper. So when you start this, what you want to do is create a company within Bookkeeper that will be the target company you're going to import your QuickBooks data to. So most of the information that you're going to be setting up within Bookkeeper is going to get overwritten. So you don't need to go too crazy in how you set it up. So here, when Bookkeeper starts, I'm just going to create a new company. You do want to collect, collect the standard setup because there are a couple options you're going to want to make sure you have set. You can type in anything you want for the company information. Again, the address will get imported from QuickBooks. Set up your accounting method. Don't worry about your chart of accounts because that's going to be imported from QuickBooks directly. Do set up your next fiscal year end. Bank account, you can leave as is. All of that will get imported. And then for the payroll information, you're going to want to make sure you've selected advanced payroll. Any of the payroll information coming over from QuickBooks will use the advanced payroll features. Set up your password. And then here in this option, you can say, I want to import from QuickBooks and then click import. So you're now your company is set up and now you have the integration module preparation that, that Bookkeeper uses to be able to get ready to import the data. And now what Bookkeeper is going to do, it's going to take the database that has just been used and it's going to put it into a staging area so the integrator module can work with it. And so what you want to do is click the prepare integration button. And what this is going to do is copy the database over into the staging area. And that's really all that it does. It gives you the message that's been copied. And once that happens, Bookkeeper is going to shut down. And now back on the desktop, you want to jump over to the Quick QuickBooks integrator module. So I'm going to double click on that. Now, QuickBooks is already running and it's already open to the company that I want to import. Now, that's important because that helps with the integration and helps the connection between the two modules. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is click Connect. And now what's going to happen is QuickBooks is going to prompt me to say, hey, somebody's trying to access your data. Do you want to let, allow this to happen? And you're going to want to click Yes to allow it to go. Click Continue and click Done. And then now back in the integrator, you'll see that we connected to the company that's already select, that's already open in QuickBooks. And that's where you want to be. If you don't get this or you get some other kind of errors that show up that you can't connect there, make sure you are not running QuickBooks as an administrator. Just start up QuickBooks, just normal. You can be an administrator account, but just don't run it as an administrator. So that's really important. And the same thing with the Bookkeeper QuickBooks integration module. Make sure you don't run that as administrator. You just want to start that regularly. Okay, so now for Bookkeeper, I'm going to click Connect. And the only other company that I had set up was this QB import company that I had created. So it automatically selects it. But if you're doing this with an existing uh, database where you have maybe another company or two. There could be other companies in here. You can click the drop down, and if there are, they'll be here, and you can select the one that you want. Right. So now if you're using a, a QuickBooks database that has a lot of data in it, maybe you've been using this for many many years, and and you don't want all of that historical data, you know you can change the date from when you're going to pull the QuickBooks data from. So in, just so you know, large databases can take hours to import, depending on the amount of information you have. So, you know, really be uh, selective about how much information that you really do want to be able to, to pull in. And if you are going to pull in, you know, going back many, many years, then just be aware that the import could take a while. All right. So by default, the integrator will pull in the company, bank accounts, and chart of accounts. That's standard regardless of what other information you're going to try and pull in. After that, you can decide if you want to pull in just certain types of transactions or just certain lists. 
you know, if you don't want any of the transactions, you can uncheck any of these. If you just wanted to pull in your list of vendors or customers. Um, but again, you can choose whatever you want. And then when you're ready, you just click start. And it's going to go through and, and make some connections. It's going to do some initialization. Um, this may take some time. So it may take, you know, uh, 30 seconds or a minute or so to be able to, to make the connection and retrieve the first set of information. And once that happens, you'll start getting messages. And some of these messages is from the tool that's being used to communicate between QuickBooks and the Bookkeeper integration module. And so if you see some of these messages, you can just ignore them. Um, you know, they're just kind of more informational for the, the, the person using it. Um, but eventually you'll start pulling in data. And when that happens, you will see some status here about how many records are being imported and, and how many records it has to pull. And, you know, it can take some time. And at this point, you just let this thing cook. And, you know, it... It may take some time because depending on your data, so don't be surprised. Just let it sit and, and do its thing. So I'm just going to sit right back and just kind of let this cook, and then I'll come back when the import is all done. It has complete. So you will see a message here saying that everything is all done. Um, you'll see all the check marks here for all the transactions that got imported. And now the integration module is all done. So we can close out of this and get back into Bookkeeper. So I'm going to go back to my desktop and with Bookkeeper, again, you want to run as administrator. All right, that's going to allow us to be able to copy the database back from the staging area directly into Bookkeeper. Okay, so the old Bookkeeper database still has the QB import, so it's okay to select that. It doesn't know about the new information yet. So we're just going to go through this and then we're going to go to file and then we're going to do import. We're going to import our data from QuickBooks and we've already prepared it. So now we're going to complete the integration. So I'm going to click on this button and this now says that the bookkeeper, uh, the database has been copied from the staging area into the bookkeeper application area. And again, bookkeeper will shut down so we can reconnect to the database. And then if I start bookkeeper back up again, we're also running as administrator. Now I can see my QuickBooks data here. It has the same password that I used when I set up my company in Bookkeeper, so that hasn't changed. Okay, but now when I get in here, I can see my bank account information, and I'll be able to see, you know, all my customers and all my vendors and all the information that goes along with it. And so that's it. That's how we can import the data. The tricky part is the joggling back and forth between the two applications and getting it in. But just so you know that it does copy the database to a staging area. Once the integrator is done, Bookkeeper pulls the data back. And then when you open it back up for the second time, you'll be able to see all of your QuickBooks data there. So thanks for watching and thanks for being a Bookkeeper customer.